Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to compare ionic and covalent bonds. So, what are bonds and why do atoms make bond? Now, bonds mean link. The reason why atoms bond together is in order to have full outer shell of electrons. And when they have full outer shell of electrons, they become more stable. So, bonds mean links. And atoms bond to have full outer shell of electrons. And this makes the atom to become more stable. And such bond can be either ionic or covalent. So all the atoms wants to have full outer shell of electrons. But group 8 or noble gas have full outer shell of electrons. Okay, let's compare ionic and covalent bond. In ionic bond, one atom will lose an electron and the other atoms will gain electrons. So there is transferring of electrons. The atom which has lost the electron form into positive charge and the atoms which has gained electrons form into negative charge. And we know that opposite charge have attraction. And this attraction is called ionic bonding. So in ionic bonding, there is transferring of electrons. So one atom lose electron and the other atoms gain electrons. And this leads to the formation of ions. One positive charge and the other one negative charge. And opposite charge have attraction. When it comes to covalent bonding, there is no transfer of electrons. The electrons are shared between the atom. So you can see that in the overlap, the two atoms are shared. So sharing of electrons. If there are one pair of electrons between the atom, it is called single bond. And a single line is represented for a single bond. For a double bond, two pairs of electrons will be found in the overlap. So a total number of four electrons. And a double bond is represented with the double line. When it comes to ionic bonding, metals and non-metals combine together. And the best example of this will be NaCl, where Na is a metal and Cl is a non-metals. The Na will lose the electrons and it will be transferred to chlorine. So Na forms positive ion and Cl forms negative ion and they both have attraction. When it comes to covalent bonding, the atoms joining together are only non-metals. So it happens between non-metals and non-metals. And a good example of this would be H2O. Hydrogen is non-metals and oxygen are non-metals. The electrons on the hydrogen and the electrons on the oxygen are shared together to make a covalent bond. Now, ionic bonding forms into a giant structure and they are called giant ionic structures. Whereas covalent bonding can form into three different structures. These are simple molecular substance, giant covalent structure and nanoparticles. I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.